Hi there, I'm Sabrina, and I'm one of the international student admission officers in the PSB Academy. Today, in this video, I'm gonna share everything that you need to know about PSB Academy online English proficiency test. This is a test that you can take to prove your language proficiency prior to joining PSB other certificates and diploma programs. If you do not have any internationally recognized English qualifications such as IELTS or TOEFL result, it is a full computer delivered test. It has warm up, grammar vocabulary, reading and writing in one sitting, just like a real exam. You can complete the test in 65 minutes, and the test result will be available in next three to seven working days. Okay, let's have a look at the test now. Firstly. Please click the test link that PSB sent to you. That you will see a welcome page it says "Welcome to Blackboard," and you can scroll down right to the end and click continue. Then you come to your login page. You just need to input your login ID and the password that we sent to you. After logging, you will be able to see your name, and then you can move to course. Click on courses. It will bring you to your test. And then click on the test name. In this situation, is English proficiency test three. Your test can be any random numbers. Up next, you will see course content, and there is a folder. Click on it. Okay, now you will be able to see there are four sessions in the test, and named with zero, zero, one, two, and three. I will suggest you to stay here for a few seconds. Because it shows the test structure and the time allocation to each paper, which is very important to exams. You will notice that session zero zero is actually a warm up, and there's no marks for this paper, but there are marks for other papers in paper one grammar, vocabulary, paper two reading, and paper three writing. Having all this in mind, you are ready to start your exam. Then click on session zero zero and move on to the bottom. Click start attempt. Once you finish the test, click submit. Then it goes back to the course content. Well, you can continue to choose the rest of the papers. The next session is grammar and vocabulary. Start attempt, finish and submit. Then move on to reading. Start attempt, finish and submit. The final session is writing. There are two different topics in writing. While、well, you just need to pick one and write. When you finish the writing, you finish the whole test. Yay! Congratulations! I have some experience with this test since I've taken it, and I suggest you to watch this video because it will get yourself familiar with the test setting and get prepared if you are going to sit for this exam. Please relax and just be yourself. If you feel some parts of the exam is difficult and tricky, it's okay, because it happens to all exams, isn't it? If you run out of time, your answers will be submitted automatically, so there's no need to panic, and try to do your best. Thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you good luck. Bye.